Welcome back to the Uranium Fever channel. In today's video, we're taking a look at the latest data mines of items coming soon to Fallout 76, featuring new outfits, a new build set, multiple new prefabs, and a new weapon mod that looks a lot like another classic Fallout weapon, as well as a first look at Season 16, which is shaping up to be another cryptid theme scoreboard. Let's get started. Special thanks to Sugar Bombs Rads for providing the visuals for today's video. Consistently giving us a first look at new items coming to the game, please give them a follow on Twitter, or their links are in the video description. First up today, let's take a look at some items coming to the Atomic Shop. A new outfit and hat combo, we have the Rail Splitter, which is reminiscent of Abraham Lincoln's top hat from Fallout 3. There's also a pair of new masks. The fast narked Ogwa and Robot Head both look great, but if it seem on first impression these will actually be Atomic Shop releases, as opposed to new masks being added to the drop pool. Fingers crossed for it, that isn't the case. On the topic of Helvetia, there's a new build kit on the way too. This is called the Helvetia Camp Kit, the perfect set if you wanted to replicate the town's aesthetic on your own turf. This isn't the only new build kit on the way though, as we also have the Brotherhood Camp Kit. Not too sure about the titling of this one currently, so put a pit in that for now, but it looks good on first impression. There's a trio of big new prefabs also slated for an Atomic Shop release. Up first we have the Snack Shack. Next we have the Iron Mountain Anvil. And finally, the Wasteland Wealth Exchange. I particularly like that last one. There's also a host of new camp miniatures, with a tiny lesser devil, a Vault Boy sundial, as well as a great pairing to finish here. A pre-war Brahmin, and a UFO abduction of the unfortunate Bovine. And to go with that last one, there's a trio of Zaytan miniatures. Look out for my longer video covering all the ATX Zeta mines next week, but for now we're we'll moving on to Season 16, which is shaping up to be a fascinating merger of a cryptid theme with Atlantic City. The obligatory Power Armor paint set is called the Devilish Paint this time around, and it's available for all Power Armor variants. You'll see that the Jersey Devil features a lot with these new items. Weapons next, and there's also another paint set for a variety of models called the Peeper's Paint. This can be applied to the Gauss Rifle, Double Barreled Shotgun, Combat Rifle, Pump Action Shotgun, and Auto Axe. And up next, possibly my favourite item in today's video, a weapon very very reminiscent of the classic Enclave Hellfire Troops, Weapon of Choice the heavy incinerator, but this time it's called the cremator, and this looks like it will be another unique weapon as two skins are available on the board with the basic and rip daring paint, because yep, rip daring is back in this one. I think it looks amazing personally, but not only that, it also comes with a unique mod on this scoreboard too, which is a new development of the scoreboards, the mod being called the slow burner. I'll be looking to learn more about the effects that that gives in the next data mine video. Running through a random selection of items next, we have a telephone booth, a weapon workbench called the Iron Mountain Forge, which no doubt will come with the prefab, the Thunderstorm weather station, and I must say I absolutely love the unique look for this one. There's also a pawn shop vendor station, a new butterfly collection station, so another camp collector on the way, a new chassis display frame, a dead Brahmin floor decor item, and an interesting one next. Rip Daring's outfit. So way back when for the other cryptid scoreboard, a few data mined items didn't release with that one, but it's great to see that this outfit is making an appearance on Season 16's board, and it's not alone. The Piff Helmet is also coming too. There's also some log cabin stairs, a bullseye trampoline, a cryptid skull backpack skin, a homemade xylophone, a ship wheel, and a junk item first seen in the Atlantic City DLC, but it's now buildable at your camp, it's the wet floor sign. Rip Daring has some unique binoculars to go with his outfit, there's also a billboard set of lights, a collection of buildable miniature robots, a new statue gorilla, and another camp collector. This one is called the Water Boiler. I'll be hunting down what this does in time for the next video, and I really like this next one. There's a new chemistry bench called the Autopsy. Looks great if a little bit gruesome. A World of Cryptus trunk stash box is also on the way, and to finish up with today, we have some Jersey Devil themed rewards for Season 16, a new shooting gallery, a cryptid cyclops power armor helmet, and last but not least, the Stein for Season 16. But with that, we've reached the end of today's video. What did you think of these new items? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. This was just an initial look at the latest data mines, as there's still a lot to cover, so look out for two follow-up videos, one for the Atomic Shop and the other one for Season 16, as you can take a look at all of the new items coming to both. If you enjoyed this particular video, please consider subscribing to help the channel grow. We post a variety of Fallout 76 content, so turning on the bell icon is definitely the best way to stay up to date. With that said, I'm off. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.